Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it has been so freaking long. I have been on a hiatus. I apologize. Um, it was a rather long break and I life just caught up with me guys. It really did. Um, I've just been busy and working and the holidays and we were traveling and stuff. So I just felt like I kept trying to find the time, but I was just so stressed out and so much going on that I just kind of was like, you know what, I need a break. And I think the way everything was going in the beauty community, as far as, well, I just like spit across the room. <laughs> what? Okay, so the way everything was going, as far as the beauty community and all the drama and people with paid, um, you know, partnerships and sponsorships and getting all this money just to film bad reviews or like there was just so much negativity that I felt like, you know what, I don't want to be a part of that because that's not why I do makeup. That's not why I talk about products. That's just not who I am. Um, there's nothing really plastic and superficial here. You get what you get. And, um, I try to be as honest and open, you know, I'm, I'm just constantly learning, constantly growing as a person, as an artist. And my channel is not about that. You know, it's not about trying to be the biggest and baddest and the most subscribers. It's just about being me and having a place to be in, you know, YouTube's like an outlet, an event for me, if you will. So anyway, I, I just took a much needed break from it and, um, just tried to be in the moment and present. Um, but yeah, I just, I needed to like reset and I feel like we all go through that at one point or another in our lives. But anyway, I don't wanna go on and on cause I do wanna get ready with you guys today. Um, it's been crazy weather here in the South. It's like, I came back, I was visiting family up North and um, I went back home for a week just for the holiday and to see my family and stuff. And um, it was so cold there, you know, in the teens and 20s. And then I come back and it's like 50, 60 degrees and then it drops here to like 20 degrees. So I feel like my skin is a mess. Everything is just trying to catch up. Um, yeah, so it's crazy. Um, but anyway, today's video, the primary focus, you guys, is the Morphe palette. Um, the Artistry Stunning Vibes 35V palette. I just got this, actually. I ordered it through Ulta. And it is gorgeous. I love it. Love these colors. Um, I like a lot of the cool tones. I like the mauves. You guys know I'm a big mauve fan. And um, just the whole layout is just really, really pretty. I have not touched it yet. I'm excited. I hate, I hate touching these. I almost wish I could afford to buy two just so I can have one to look at and stay pretty forever. And then the other one to actually mess with because I know once I get my hands in here, I'm going to make a mess. But it's gorgeous. I love the colors. And we're going to wing it because you guys know that's what I'm good at. I just take it one step at a time. I don't really plan out my videos. Um, yeah, I just, I don't have a reason to, I don't have millions and millions of followers. So that, I guess maybe that pressure is not there to, you know, perform. So anyway, <laughs> but, um, I'll just show you guys like an updated routine of what I'm doing with my makeup currently. And, um, dive into that palette and see what we can do. So the first thing I wanna do is prep my skin and I have a sample of the Radiant Laura Mercier Primer. And I wanna apply this mostly on the outskirts of my face just to give it some glow. There's not a whole lot of moisture to this. They say, I feel like it gives me a good amount of moisture, but I could be totally wrong. I like to kind of keep this in my U zone where I get really dry. And then I kind of bring some up here too, just to give like an all around perimeter glow down the bridge, down in the neck. I'm big about that. I don't want too much of this in the center of my face because throughout the day, oh my God, I should not film with the cough drop in my mouth. I feel like I'm spitting all over the freaking place here. But anyway, throughout the day, I do get oily. So I don't want to put 
too much of this focused in the center of my face. I do, however, want to take a little bit of this sample of Cover FX Blurring Primer and put this right in the center because that is where I have pores and nonsense. <sighs> my pores. It's crazy, like, I don't know what I did to deserve them. Okay. Or this redness, what is, what is this redness crap? Let me chew my cough drop. Yeah, so if my tongue looks red, it's because I have a cough drop. Like, I just feel dry. Everything. But yeah. So we're going to try to talk through a little bit along with this tutorial. And um, kind of update you on my life a little bit. <clears throat> I think I'm going to use Huda Beauty Powder today. I picked up this Too Faced Born This Way. If you guys are using this or have tried it, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Um, maybe, you know what, I'll, I'll use it today. I'm gonna use it today. See, I'm taking it as I go, guys, no plan. I'm torn on it. I'm torn on Born, okay? I'm not too sure how I feel about it, so we're gonna use it today and you guys tell me what you think, how it comes out. Um, as far as foundation, recently I've been really into my Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, when we were on vacation, it was my go-to staple because we literally get up at like 6, 7 in the morning and we're just driving and going all day and visiting people and I needed something that would stay with my skin and also I've been wearing glasses a lot lately. I'm just trying to give my eyes a break and my bank account with the contacts, okay? So I <laughs> took a break and this really holds up and I feel like, especially with glasses, because you do tend to get separation here and here with your makeup, um, the double wear just worked. So I mix a little bit of Desert Beige with Rattan, um, mostly because I have um, in-between skin from the you know summer and um, I don't know, I like a mixture of a neutral with a warm golden. I have neutral skin, but with a warm golden undertone. So the mixture of both of these seems to work well for me. Um, however, it does get expensive doing that, so I don't recommend it. But, you know, if you can find your perfect shade, they do, they do have a ton of shades now. So I think it's kind of easier to find a perfect match. Uh, but I've just kind of mixed these for a little while because I like a little bit of warmth in my foundation. Just my thing. And I'm just literally mixing it on the back of my hand and just kind of spreading it on my face with my finger. I see like so many makeup artists that work for Estee that actually use their fingers to apply this. But I am going to go in with a dampened sponge and really work this into my skin. If you see me lean in, I do have a mirror here, guys. Sorry if it's distracting, but I cannot see a shit without my glasses. So I have to kind of look really close to make sure I am nice and blended for you guys. But I've been really into this Morphe sponge lately and just really like making that noise of just slapping this onto my skin. And I'm actually like not putting a lot of pressure, but just kind of making that like bouncing sound on my face. I don't know, I just feel like it really works the product in well. And it just gives it an all around nice finish. Cover my ears with it, just so everything blends and matches. This is like the first day I have done my makeup in probably four days. I like, we came home and then I just honestly needed like two days to completely regroup. The We drive when we go up north and from where we live, it's roughly nine and a half to 10 hours, but we hit so much traffic, I guess, with the holidays and just so many people being on the road and coming back from school and coming home, it ended up being like a 12 and a half hour ride and we hit all these crazy accidents. It was just nuts. So 
I just honestly felt so disoriented, car sick. I mean, we leave so early when we get on the road, you know, we're up by like 3.30, 4 o'clock and then we hit the road just to try to avoid so much traffic. Um, but unfortunately coming home, it was really difficult. So I honestly felt like I needed like two days to just do nothing and regroup. Um, it was crazy, like the kids were exhausted. I don't even know how my son went to school the next day, like he was, I think he just had that adrenaline and really missed his, you know, school and classmates and everything, but it was just crazy. I was so tired. Kids are just awesome because they bounce back so easily, but when you're like older, it's just, it takes a toll. Um, and you know, just any kind of long driving like that, it can kind of wear you out, but it, it was really a fun time. I like going in the car, even though it is long, I give my kids so much credit because it's a long ride and they're still young, but they are troopers. And you know, towards the end, they get excited and anxious to get there. But in the beginning, they're just like so cute. So I'm gonna just take a Morphe brush that I picked up actually on Black Friday. Um, this is, hold on here. This is the Morphe M439, just a really great buffing foundation brush. And I just kind of want to buff this down into my neck to make sure it's nice and airbrushed. We don't see any harsh lines. For concealer, I actually picked up this MAC 24 Hour Studio Fix Concealer, and I really like it. I just picked up the wrong color, so I've been mixing it with my Tarte um, Fairlight Neutral, since Fairlight Neutral is very light. And um, the MAC concealer that I picked up is very, very yellow. Like, I don't even know, truthfully, why it's so yellow. Not gonna lie. It's like super califragia yellow. I don't even think I know a person that is actually this color because this is NC20 and normally NC20 is like a really good match for me, but this is like a straight yellow. So I like it. I put it in the corner of my eyes because I do have kind of a dark blue black under and around my eyes. So it works for that, but not by itself. Um, let's work on that now. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Um, so I really do like this combination together and I'm just going to buff it out with a Morphe brush. I will get you guys the number on a memento, but yeah, I've been into like just kind of buffing it in and then perfecting it more with my beauty blender. Um, now I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge and just kind of blend everything out. But yeah, this is what I did like every day on vacation. My kids were like, really mom, you have to put makeup on. But you know, I travel around, I see people, I wanna look nice. I can't look like a schlep, you know? Kids don't get it. But I do love that I have two boys that see me as beautiful no matter what. So I really, you know, I can't complain. They are the sweetest that way. They're always telling me that I'm beautiful and it's just a wonderful feeling. Mostly to know that I have two boys that are that polite and kind and you know that they compliment others even at the young age that they are. And my older son too, he's eight and he's just so sweet. He's always just telling people, you look pretty, I like your shirt, you know, just nice things. And I feel like we need that in the world. We need more kindness, you know? Kindness is something that anyone can give and do. It doesn't take a degree, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't take rocket science, just just be kind. And I'm really proud that my kids are good like that. Makes me feel good as a parent. Like, every time I do something, you know, you're questioning, am I doing this right? Am I doing, am I teaching them the right thing? Am I giving them the right tools? And then you see them in their element and how they treat other people. And that's just kind of, I think, all you need to know to know that you're doing it right. No matter how many times you feel like you screw up, you know? And really quickly, before I put on my powder, I have been going back into my um, Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I haven't used this in a long time, but I don't know, something about like 
the winter feeling and the cold and just, you know, wearing a lot of sweaters and it was the holiday time. So we were wearing like, you know, a lot of rich tones, um, emeralds, like clothing wise. I wanted to kind of warm up my complexion, you know, cause you do, you start to feel pale at this time of the year. You don't feel like you have that glow. And I feel like this just puts that glow back into the skin, back into your life and just love it. So I actually, I know it's not designed for this, but I've been using my Laura Mercier stippling brush. Um, it's designed more for finishing and I kind of work it in to the bronzer. I love this brush because it is super soft um, delicate bristles and it puts it on in a way that really does feel airbrushed and I kind of work it into the temple the cheek down the side of the face here into the jaw I just want this kind of warmth all around the exterior and just kind of creating like a window of warmth I don't know, I really liked the overall vibe of this and I've been kind of doing this just to, you know, try something different. Add this extra layer. I don't do a lot of cream contour, mostly because I feel like it just doesn't look as good on me as it does on some people. And I also feel like it feels very heavy and I'll do it if I need it, if I feel like it's a special event and I want to look, you know, really chiseled. But for the most part, it's just not really something I want to be bothered with. I like a quick powder contour, call it a day. But this kind of gives me almost like that, con not contoured, but just, it just kind of levels you up a little bit. It's my level up makeup challenge, okay guys? And I bring it right into... The crease of my eye right up in the hairline if you're weird about makeup near your hairline don't do this bring it right down into kind of the threes of the neck here even a little bit down here I'm just literally taking it to warm up my entire complexion okay so really quickly I just want to go in here and make sure everything is nice and blended. I'm just gonna take this beauty blender and just kind of bounce it in because we're about to powder. And when I powder, I wanna make sure that there's no lines or creasing. And we're gonna go into our Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. This is the light color. But like I said, I'm still not sure how I feel about it. Still torn. I'm gonna bring it in under my eyes. And along the jawline here. So this is definitely where I do chisel a little bit um, because I do like to have a nice sharp cheekbone. And then I'm also gonna bring this powder into my T-zone, especially around the nose because I am wearing glasses and I wanna try to avoid my foundation and everything moving. All right, so I wanna push this aside for a minute because I wanna get into the eyes since that is really the focus clear up some of this powder. Um, the Morphe palette really is the focus of what I want to, you know, look at with this video today. Um, because I did, you know, just pick it up. I'm excited. I really want to get into it and try it. So let's do that. The only thing I really wish is that Morphe would put mirrors in the palettes. I love the idea of all these colors, but I would love a mirror to go in my palette. <laughs> I don't know, just call me needy. I just like having that, especially now since I can't see anything and I have to look so up close to put my makeup on. It's just nice having that, you know, mirror. 
Anyway, um, really quickly before we start, I do wanna dust off my eyes, make sure that there's no powder settled on here. And I do use a very thick concealer around my eyes, so I usually don't prime, but if you have to prime, go ahead and prime your eyes at this point. Sometimes I use my MAC um, paint pot, but for the most part, I find I don't need it. Um, anyway, lots of colors, beautiful colors in this palette. And I think what I wanna start with is a soft kind of highlight. So I wanna use this first color here and just kind of work that into a fluffy A12 from Anastasia. And I wanna bring that into the corner and up across the brow bone, and then just kind of dust all over my eye with it to really prime. It's super glowy and frosty, this color, so if that's not your thing, you can always use a matte, but this is really how I like to glow. In that second row coming in, there's this really pretty kind of pinky bone color, and I wanna start working that into the crease to start prepping it. Just a nice basic bone, almost like a pink bone color. Makes sense. Now, in this third row here, or actually, I don't know, do I want mauve? I kinda want some mauves today. You know what, let's go back up to this top row here and we're gonna pick up this kind of grayish lilac tone on that same A12 and start working that into our crease. That's pretty. I'm just like really into like pinky purples even like soft browns, I don't know, I'm just, I'm feeling it. This is a really pretty color though. Now I actually wanna warm up this crease a little bit too, so in that same row as that we have that kind of lilac color, I'm gonna come down here into like this soft peachy brown pink and work that in also with the A12, just to add some warmth to the crease. So these colors are blending really, really nicely together. And I always look for that with a new palette is when I transition to different colors, if I start blending and circling them together, do I lose the colors completely or do I still see the dimension? And I definitely see dimension with these shadows and that makes me super happy. Really quickly, I wanna drop down brush size to an MB23 from Morphe, and now I wanna start working into this really pretty kind of, um, I guess, almost like a magenta, like a magenta mauve. I don't know, we've worked with this color. Now we're gonna add a little bit more warmth. So we're going next to the shadow. We just placed that kind of peachy pink. Now we're going a little bit more magenta, still working in the crease, and also now bringing this further across the lid here, but also staying within that V. This is a much more fluffy, smaller brush compared to the A12, so I think it gives it a nice dimension without it being too, like overtaking the colors that we placed in the crease, if that makes sense. And now I wanna drop down even further and go a little bit more tapered. So I'm gonna go into a Morphe B81. And this is just kind of like your typical goat hair type brush. Or actually, I think it's a boar hair bristle. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I wanna start smoking out this eye. So I'm gonna use this top purple here and also this kind of muted brown purple. So this one's a little more gray, this one's a little more brown. I'm gonna mix the two on this brush. And I'm actually gonna come in with a mirror here because I wanna see a little more detail on here. But this is gonna focus mostly here in the outside corner. So we're kind of like making a V and we're just going back and forth and then pulling it real nice and tight into the crease to give it more sharpness and definition. And it just kind of, I don't know, when you look at the both, you can really see the difference of how they pop. Now I wanna go into a clean, fluffy brush and I'm gonna go back into that kind of bone pink color 
and take that on a BH brush and we're just gonna work this back and forth really soft into the crease to kind of merge the colors together. Okay. And I wanna get even more tight into the crease now and going back into those two deep plum colors, just kind of go back in with an even smaller brush and again, work it on the outside and then also into the crease. And then, of course, blending it upward. Working good. Gonna go back in again and just blend one more time. Okay, it looks really good. Now I wanna come up with the lid color. And one thing I've been doing a lot too is using my finger to kind of work the lid colors in. So going back in this palette, I actually really love these two colors here. One is super like magenta, magenta like reddish purple. So I'm gonna work that in first, kind of working in the center and moving towards the outside of the lid, just with my finger. I really like the heat of the finger for working some of these shadows in. And then I wanna go in with my other finger into this color here, which is still in the warm category, which is funny because we have a lot of cool tones in this look, but I like adding that pop of warmth too. So now I wanna take this kind of bright golden pink color and work that in as well, starting in the center, but now kind of coming into the front of the lid a little bit more. And to perfect it, I like to go into a Morphe brush. Um, this is a B10 and kind of work this now into that lighter pinky gold and just kind of perfect it more. And then one more time, just gonna go into that smaller detail brush and just make sure that we don't lose the crease color. Now I'm gonna take just an It Cosmetics um, smoky liner brush and go back into the um, mid-tone colors. So instead of doing these two dark purples, we're gonna go into these mid-tone colors that we worked with. Tap that out. And I'm gonna pull this right from the outside corner here into the lower lash line to tie this whole look together. You can flare it out a little bit. I kind of like flick it up into the crease. Grab a little bit of that kind of grayish plum and add that in. And then the final step, I always take a very small um, fluffy brush. It's crease brush, detail brush, anything that's small and just very delicate and fluffy. And I'm gonna go back into that bone color and just kind of work that through the entire lower lash line so that this way it blends it out. Just like we do in the crease when we blend at the end, this is blending out the lower lash line. So we are coming along here. Really quickly, I wanna wipe off some of that excess powder that is underneath our eyes now from the bake, if there's anything left at all, because mine usually melts away. Um, but we wanna do this just to make sure too we have all of our fallout wiped away clean. Taking some tips from good old Jaclyn Hill, I love her so much. Um, I like to go in like she does and really define underneath the eyes with more powder. So we're gonna go back in with our Morphe sponge. Just grab a mirror here. And I'm just gonna press this in right on the outside corner of the eye here. Just so that while I work on my contour. This stays nice and sharp. This really does work. It really helps cut the 
the like the outside corner it really helps to just define the makeup look to really lift the face up all right so i've already warmed up my cheeks using that chanel bronzer now what i do like to do is go in with a powder and just kind of contour and chisel a little bit so i really love this smashbox step-by-step -step contour palette it's so affordable you get your contour your bronze your highlight and it's just so compact i brought this when i was traveling and I just loved being able to, you know, fit this anywhere and take it with me. Um, and I mix the two colors. I mix mostly the contour and then I take a drop of bronze, work them together. And this is a Morphe M530. And I'm just going to work this kind of right above the ear, right into the hollow. And really pull this color up so that this way it's lifting the face. You don't wanna pull down because then you're gonna drag the face down. And the whole point with the contouring is just lifting and sculpting the face. Also gonna come in right at the jawline here. Kind of go from behind the ear into the jawline. And again, lifting, working it up into the jaw one thing I recommend with contouring is um, go online, Google your face shapes, learn what your shape is, and learn to kind of custom your contouring to your face shape. So if that wasn't enough, I'm gonna add even more warmth now on top of that Chanel. I'm gonna pop a little bit of my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and just kind of work that in almost like I would a blush, kind of working it onto the cheekbone itself, into a little bit of the apple here, into the temple, okay, and then a little bit down the neck here as well. But I'm gonna also take a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury um, Finishing and Perfecting Powder here and just kind of work this in I know a lot of powder guys, but I promise you, it makes your makeup last and last. I'm gonna do some blush, because we did not do blush yet. I'm really into my BH palette, you guys. This 10 color palette is my favorite. And in sticking with kind of mauves and pinks, I'm gonna work with a little bit of this kind of like deepened pink brown, this muted rose, and then something real bright and like peony. So you just kind of work those colors together. And we're just kind of ever so gently dusting them onto the apples and then working them up. And then I feel like we need a little bit of color on the inside corner of the eye. So I'm gonna go back into the Morphe palette now. And let's pull up again this really pretty white kind of frosted white silver that we used in the very beginning. I'm gonna take this on a very small kind of concealer brush and just work this on the inside corner of our eyes. I'm grabbing a little bit of that champagne next to it just to give it some variation. Now for lips today, I was torn. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go nude, if I wanted to be a little bit more colorful. I did, however, pick up NYX um, mauve lip pencil and this is an oldie but goodie for me I've used this one so many times and I think it'll really go well in keeping the lips very soft and letting the eyes kind of be the statement of this look so I'm just gonna white out my lips a little with some Kylie concealer Kylie's in Ulta now you guys look out When we went on Black Friday, of course, you know, I had to hit my Ulta and my Sephora on Black Friday. Um, but yeah, my sister-in-law and I, we went and people were just like knocking down the display of Kylie. It was crazy. We couldn't even like get near it to look at the lip products. And that's all there is right now is just lips. But it was so crazy over there. And I was like, damn, this girl is doing something right. She is selling like hotcakes, honey. Crazy. A 
little bit of Laura Mercier's Fresh Lipstick and just kind of work this into this. But I'm just going to kind of pat it in because it has a lot of color. Now we're going to top this off with Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the color Charmer. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I love it so much. <laughs> I do, I do. I love me a good movie smoky eye look. Um, I really love these colors together and there's recapping you guys overall um this is the stunning vibes palette the 35v from morphe and it's one of their artistry palettes and again we'll take a look see already damaged from putting my brushes in it but it's so beautiful love 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 it we worked with a lot of these mauve colors and these softer pinks here and i just think it gave such a beautiful beautiful blended finish um Kudos, two thumbs up. It's definitely Nicole approved, Diva approved. Um, I really like it. I'm like looking at it in different angles. Super pretty, blended, stunning. I love it. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial because I don't want to drag on too, too much, but I do just want to recap about that palette and how much I love it. Um, still not sold on the Too Faced powder yet. I'm going to wear it and see how it does. I feel like it shows a lot of texture and a lot of pores, which again, that could just be from my skin going through some changes or it could be the powder itself. But I do absolutely love wearing double wear foundation, especially this time of year and with glasses so yes that is something that i definitely love um again had a great vacation a great time off away from youtube but i am back and i would like to know what you guys want to see so if there's anything that you want to see um, any request comment down below let me know what you guys think i will link my social media instagram snapchat all that good stuff i will try to make more of a presence on those for you guys and give you more tips and tricks and looks if you have any questions though please comment down below let me know give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until the next time i'll see you guys again really soon